A cycling team is much more than just the sum of its parts. Riders are key, of course, but team staff play a crucial role in maximising performance. On race day, the director sportif is the boss and is always busy. There's a lot of logistics before the race that's really important to guarantee that everything goes smoothly. Staff management of assistants and mechanics, and then there's all the preparation for the race, which is also very important that we generally do at home. We use a tool that's very popular with professional teams called VeloViewer. We use Street View, which allows us to see the roads that we're going to take, if they're small, if they're wide, and if they're clear of the wind. In short, all sorts of things like that. That is the first part of the race. You see, the two-lap is really flat. The aim is to give the route details to the riders at the briefing and to highlight the key things that we've seen. If you are all together on this part, the final will be easier. The closer we get to the event, the more we'll be able to fine-tune our strategy in relation to the team lineup we have at the start and the form of each rider. The goal today. We know Arvid is super fast and he is in a good way, but it's to do an easy race for you. And that's it. The aim is to establish the best tactics for our team, but also for the adversity we face. They have to buy into this strategy, even if they don't decide it themselves. When you go to the race, it's important to see how things are going on the bus. It's important to have that little glimpse to see who's calm and who's got a bit of pre-race stress. During the race, our role is to lead the team. Allez, guys, we try to, to control. The road will be a little bit more narrow now. With the radio, it's easy to give information about the parkour, which is very important so that the riders know the race situation, how many riders are in the breakaway, or how big a gap there is to the breakaway. Sebastian, you can start to just pull, but let them the, the gap go to 2.30, 3 minutes maximum. And there's the assistance for the riders. Okay, last gap, 1 minute 35, last gap, 1 minute 35. When they have problems or crashes, we have the mechanic with us in the car, and the aim is to be able to help the rider as quickly as possible. Next feeding in 6K, next feeding 6 kilometers, Dolores and Jorgen. Tu veux un bidon? Tu veux un bidon? The closer we get to the finale, the more we'll give out the important information. The information that will help the riders perform and achieve the best possible result. From 2K to 1K, it eh, will be a really big fight. Eh? Uh, when Seba finish, Simon go to pull. Twelve seconds, one, two, at two K to go, one, two. Allez, come on, hein? we are strong. Allez, we stay together. Unfortunately, at the Grand Prix d'Isberg, the Tudor Pro cycling team's sprint train couldn't really get itself into action. I think you need to have a well-developed human side to be able to understand the riders properly. If it's a leg, it's a leg. No power. I was still like shifting and it was okay. And then I wanted to go and then they like, and I'm like, what? Like this and then, you know, you're done. The most important thing is to be able to say that it's good when it is, but when it isn't, to be able to say that too. I think all try to, to do the best he can today. If Michael is not there with the power, it's difficult to, to be in good position. We need to learn from the last lap that we need to stick together, take one side of the road so we find each other every time. And now he was yeah. just all over the place. Yeah. And that's why Michael couldn't 
faut le, essayer d'être le, le plus proche possible des coureurs. Vous devez essayer d'être le plus possible aux riders pour les comprendre. C'est pas ça, les comprendre. Le but n'est pas de dire oui à tout ce qu'ils demandent, parce que ça n'est pas de les comprendre. Mais plutôt de donner une vue sur le rider comme une personne, afin de pouvoir les aider et les aider à se rendre compte quand ils sont dans une situation difficile. Dans un moment délicat.